this is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Ashley Dubose. Ashley, thank you for taking the time. Uh, sit down and chat here with Shout Out Minnesota. Uh, we are here at First Avenue tonight. Uh, you had a performance. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure, yeah. So they had a showcase tonight called I Am Minneapolis, and I performed with a band called Tickle Torture. And um, the lead singer of that band is a good friend of mine. So he asked me, we have a song together, and he asked me to come out and perform it. And I was, of course, happy to do that. So I came out tonight, shut it down, and uh, had a good time. Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, how you got started, because that's uh, always important, how uh, the basis of you getting into singing and everything like that. So let's uh, talk about that a little bit. Um, I started singing when I was a kid. I didn't always perform. I usually would sing in my room and, and around the house and stuff. And my mother, she kind of encouraged me as I got a little older to sing for people. She was really excited that I could sing. She would tell me to sing for her friends, like random strangers that she would meet. And, Ashley, come here. And I'm like, no. But eventually, it got me out of my, sh out of my shell. And I did talent shows in middle school. Um, I did some performing in high school with a group called Imani Mommy and Company. Okay. And that, so that was a classmate of, of mine and her mother. And they would bring uh, various guests with them, guest performers, and perform around town. That was a really good experience and opportunity for me to get some experience with uh, performing and getting paid for it and stuff. So, um, and I was in a gospel hip hop group called Sky High. Okay. And yeah, I mean, that was like my amateur days. And then I decided one day, you know what, I'm really going to do this. So I performed, not performed, I'm sorry, I recorded myself. I had a, some really bad recordings that I hope never see the light of day. But I was really proud of them at the time. So that's how I started recording myself and having you know, these precious keepsakes. and. Eventually, I linked up with some people who were able to help me with an album, and we recorded something more and released that in 2012. Okay. And I'm working on my second album right now that is slated to come out very soon. We have a title for that? Uh, Be You is the title of that album. Okay. Be All right. You. Be Yourself. There you go. You ain't gotta be nobody. Now, uh, also, I want to emphasize too, you are from Minnesota. I Well, I was born in Philadelphia. Born in Philadelphia, but so you raised, raised in, in, in Minnesota. In St. Paul. In St. Paul. And I now live in Minneapolis. There you go. Um, let's get into uh, the voice. Um, how did that come about? So in 2013, last year I was on the voice, season five, and you know it, they were here in July of 2012 in St. Paul, and I auditioned for them on a whim and didn't get as far. I didn't get to the televised rounds, and then I heard they were coming for season five to Chicago, which is not very far. I said I could drive if I needed to. I'm gonna try out again. So I tried out again and I ended up going like round after round and then got to the blind auditions where they hit their button if they like you turn around. And I got all four chairs to turn around. That was really exciting. Didn't expect that and I met some great people. It was just a very wonderful life-changing experience for me and I'm grateful for it. So I got a question for you. Obviously you perform diamonds. Yes. Um and Fabulous job, by the way. Thank you. Um, is that your favorite song to perform? It's not my favorite song to perform, but I love Rihanna, and um, I enjoy. I enjoyed it. You know what? A little background. So I fought to sing um, "Billionaire," uh, Travis McCoy and Bruno Mars "Billionaire," okay. and they were like, "We think, we think the song is good for you. We think you'll do a good job with this song." Because that was one of the songs that I auditioned for earlier, like in the untelevised world. Right. So I guess they like my rendition of it. So I'm glad that they pushed me to do that because I don't know, you know, it was like Diamonds was popping at that time when right. I it sang was. it. Yes, so it was. It was a good choice. I'm glad yeah, I it was, obviously. <laughs> and now I, I sing it a lot when I do shows and stuff because a lot of people who only know of me from The Voice, you know, that's what they connect to. Like, yeah. Um, All right, so we, we kind of touched on this a little earlier, but um, you said you had, when you came out, you had an idea of who you wanted to go with. Uh, and then you kind of changed your mind. Mm -hmm. um, who was the original pick? Well, Adam, like I went in, no, like every time I would like go in an elevator or turn on the radio and I would hear a Maroon 5 song, like during this process, I'm like, I'm picking Adam. If he turns around, I'm picking Adam. Like this is a sign. And then in that moment, I was trying to choose in my head between CeeLo and Adam. Even though like everybody has such great things to say, those two like, I, anyway, I went with Adam because he fought like the most. Like every time somebody said something, he was like, "But 
like, no. Like, she's, I'm like, if he wants me that bad and, like, I felt like it was a sign that I should go with him, I was receiving signs that I should go with him, then let me just stick with my first night. So that's what I did. Were you, were you very nervous? Yes, my heart was It didn't show. So it didn't, it really, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it did not show. It, I'm glad you, it didn't show. When I see my performance, I'm just like, man. Stop playing it. Like when people are like, oh, you were in the voice. Let me look at it. I'm like, don't look up. Don't look it up right now. Go do that on your own time. Cause like every time I hear it, I go back to that space. Where I was just my heart was boom, 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 and like my breathing was just uncontrollable. But then it's go time. So you just get out there, and and then all of a sudden they turn around and everything was better. Not all good, but everything was better. But it was still really, you know, like the momentum they build. And there's only 400 people in the in the room but it's just the you know everything at this moment means like eventually there's gonna be millions of people watching this right. and this could be life changing so and how has it been since then it's been awesome i've gotten a lot of opportunities to perform um definitely a ton of people who weren't aware that there was a girl named ashley DeVos who enjoys to sing and um or enjoys singing and makes music they didn't know i existed and now they do so that that allows my music to get out to more people and touch people's lives more people's lives so this my goal is really to get my music out there and because I take pride in what um, I create with the, the, the helpers the producers and people that help me make my music I take pride in what we create and I want the world to hear because I feel like we have good music that and can you know not change lives that sounds dramatic but every life is like a movie and every movie has a soundtrack and I want to be a part of as many soundtracks as I can Um, you have a very distinct sound, a uh, very distinct voice. Um, I think your music, uh, the rhythm uh, on a lot of your songs really complement your talent. Um, and uh, I got to listen to a few of your songs and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, it seems like there's a lot of uh, influences from different artists kind of incorporated in one, into one voice. Who has influenced you in your music? Um, I would say some big ones that stand out that I notice myself, um, India Ari, uh, Beyonce, um, Alanis Morissette, uh, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, Rihanna, pretty much everybody, for the most part, people usually get it right. They're like, you sound like this one and that one, and I'm like, yep, yep. Some knows, you know, like right. people will say Corinne Bailey Ray. I really like her. I actually performed um, Put Your Records On in the Minnesota State Fair Talent Show and won second place in that. That was really cool. I really like her, but I wasn't influenced at a young age by her. Right. I just really love that song. But people will, you know, pinpoint me to different ones and that I like, but I wasn't necessarily influenced by. But for the most part, they get it right on the nail. Like, and it's not purposefully, like, I think just in life, we, we emulate what we here and you know what we what we like we hold on to what we don't we don't you know so these artists that I like and I admire subconsciously that comes out when it's time to create my own music. Um, when you put your set list together for uh, when you do a performance and stuff, uh, do you tend to switch it a lot? Do you go with a lot of the same songs that you feel comfortable with, or do you go out on a limb a little bit and uh, put something else in there or um, switch it up? It depends on how much prep time we have. If the band like. The band, my band, the band that backs me, um, we have a repertoire of songs that we know really well. And if we have a show like kind of last minute and we didn't have a lot of time to rehearse, we'll lean on the ones that we know we got in the bag. So in that case, no. But if there's enough time, you know, we throw in covers and things that, or maybe do a song that we don't usually do that is my own, but it's like, 
oh, we haven't done this in a minute. Like, you know, let's do that. Um, as far as challenging myself, I definitely don't want to make myself uncomfortable because when you're uncomfortable, it doesn't go over well with the audience. Remember, I don't like to see somebody uncomfortable on stage, so I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm within, I'm in my lane when I perform. That's great. That's great. Well, um, we thank you for your time. Uh, I want to uh, touch on social media, how uh, the fans can get a hold of you. Sure. Well, if you go to www.ashleyduos.com, there will be links to link you to my Twitter, which is at Ashley Dubose, my Instagram, at Ashley Dubose, Facebook, um, YouTube, SoundCloud. You can message me that way if you want to send me a message, um, an email. There's also a link to my music on Bandcamp. So if you just remember AshleyDubose.com, you got it. All right. Before we go, yes. one last shout out to Ashley Dubose fans of Minnesota. Shout out to all my supporters, my family, my friends, my fans in Minnesota and around the world. You guys keep me encouraged. I love you. Um, thank you for supporting me. And I hope to get you some great music very soon. So be looking out for BU 2015.